One of these is real, and one of these is fake. So let's take a look at these cartridges. The one on the left is real, the one on the right is fake. Can you see the differences? Okay, the first red flag was the end label. The font is completely different than the real game. Now, it looks more official because it's in the Turtles logo, but that's not how the cartridge ever was. The next thing was the plastic screws. Normal games have brass screws. Here's the fake one. Here's the real one. I'm going to remove the screws and still show you the real one versus the fake one because the fake one... Look at the back of that cartridge. One, there's no indentation where the number is. There's no Nintendo logo. And I can't show you this, but if you believe me, the texture of the cartridge is different. Here is the fake one. I haven't opened it up yet. Here is the real one. Let's open it up and look inside. Here is the real Turtles in time. Let's see. Chip. Nintendo 1990. Make sure that ROM chip number matches what's on the front of the cartridge as well. And now the fake. Just look at this thing. Does anybody actually think this board looks real? So Nick bought this one off of eBay. eBay does not have a real good validating measure. I mean, they'll get involved if you have a real significant problem. I bought one off of Mercari. I wanted a complete Turtles in Time because I loved that game and I was a dumbass as a teenager and I sold it, only to buy it again for much, much more. In any case, I bought one off of Mercari hoping that I was getting one that was complete. I asked repeatedly if it was complete. I got to my house. The second I saw this box, I knew it was a fake. The seams were coming up from the box, the manual looked fake, it did not look authentic, and then I picked up the cartridge, and it looked exactly like this one right here. There was no indentation where the numbers stamped on the back of the cartridge. No Nintendo logo, but mine did have screws. So I opened it, I confirmed it. And the interesting thing is it was actually glued to the case of the cartridge. So I pried it open a little bit, I took photos, and Macari, the interesting thing about them is the seller does not get paid until you validate that everything is right. So I responded, no, it's counterfeit. Bear in mind, I asked multiple times whether or not this was an authentic copy of Turtles in Time, because I don't want fake crap. I was assured I had the chat messages stating that it was in fact authentic. I got my money back by the end of that day. It was a wonderful thing. Do any of you have any kind of horror stories like that? Have you been screwed by sellers on eBay? Oh, no, no. How do you ensure that your games are authentic? Leave some comments below and have a good one. Bye.